shortlisted for the Global High Schools Prize category, the Americas, Bronx Design and Construction Academy, the United States of America, Secundaria Tecnica 120, Mexico. The proposal for the Zayed Future Energy Prize started out as a collaboration with Columbia University where we set out to answer the question, could solar panels and green roofs work well together? But to students, sustainability is an immediate concern because this is a world that they are going to live in and a world that they're going to inherit. Look around right now. In the last past week, we had Hurricane Sandy, which flooded most homes. Then the week after that, we have snow coming around and it's not even winter yet. And then the next day, it's sunny outside. A project that we've been working on for the past three years actually started with just that green roof and it escalated into this project where we started researching um, green roof and integrated photovoltaic canopies. A lot of kids in this neighborhood, they don't really have the opportunity to learn the things that I know. It changed me. Zayed was a person that gave people the opportunity, so I think uh, he was a very good man. In the classrooms, during the day, we barely use any electricity. We turn off our lights unless it's needed. Sheikh Zayed is an inspiration to me because although I may not turn the desert into a city, I can do that in another way by turning the earth into a greener place. Eh, soy el ingeniero Félix Enrique Maldonado Gámez, director de la Escuela Secundaria Técnica 120. La propuesta de la escuela, nuestra propuesta para el premio Sayet a nivel internacional es la siguiente. Tenemos un sistema de captación pluvial donde, por ejemplo, aquí en la escuela no, teníamos, no tenemos, en la, en la escuela y en la comunidad, no tenemos agua potable. Es un mecanismo para llevar el agua de una superficie determinada, misma que es dirigida a diferentes contenedores como pueden ser cisternas, sinacos, cubetas, y esa misma agua ya este, utilizarla para los baños, para que así las pipas que recorren 24 kilómetros para llegar aquí, eh, hicimos un estudio y se es, eh, producen 8.6 toneladas de dióxido de carbono. Otro proyecto que tenemos es fotoceldas. Estas fotoceldas es aprovechar la energía del sol para que en un momento dado, por ejemplo, no utilicemos la energía eléctrica y poder, a, a, poderla aprovechar. Con este premio nosotros podremos hacer la escuela sustentable en, el, en energía. Me decían, ¿cómo que nosotros seamos una escuela tan pequeña y seamos finalistas eh, se podría decir intercontinentales, ¿no? Y eso, pues, a mí me satisface mucho porque estamos representando a todas las secundarias de México y además a, a todos los alumnos que, que también este, se inscribieron y pues sí, les, sí me, me siento muy satisfecho. Shortlisted in the Global High Schools Prize, Europe, Oakhampton College from the United Kingdom and Queen Elizabeth II High School, also from the United Kingdom. My ultimate vision for this school would be to create a truly sustainable school. They're hearing from it in assemblies. Um, we have um, impact days where the youngsters are, are involved in actively developing new systems and thinking new systems. The technology curriculum is embracing it. The science curriculum is embracing it. We have large amounts of solar panels in the school, which on sunny days produce more energy than we consume, which goes back into the national grid, which is a bonus. But also, all the lights around the school, we've recently changed them to low energy bulbs, which are far more efficient. Well, our proposal was for two wind turbines, because we realise they have the potential to make a massive impact and add to the mix of energy that we already use. In terms of parallels between our thinking and Sheikh Zahed, I think it's to do with the importance of what the future might yield. I've been very surprised by the students on a number of uh, instances. One is just how vigilant they have been in terms of going around checking on where we have been if uh, wasting electricity. Um, I'm also very pleasantly surprised by the way the youngsters just embrace this whole issue. We've got student groups, environment groups, sustainability groups and those types of groups that have come up with youngsters very passionate about this, absolutely passionate.
In 2011, a group of students traveled to the Gambia in West Africa. And while we were there, we saw the impact firsthand that climate change is having in the developing world. Came back to school and thought, we have got to do something about this. We've got to make our lives more sustainable. Um, our proposal was to put up a wind turbine that would help to power our biomass boiler which would make it 100% efficient. We would um, then use the excess energy that was generated by the turbine, we would put back into the Manx National Grid. The Desired Future Energy Prize is such a globally recognised award. Our school's up there with the top players, and that's so exciting. Um, the students analysed our carbon footprint, and they then decided to plant trees to offset that carbon footprint. I think the main thing we're hoping to get from participation in the Zayed Future Energy Prize is a chance to network with other schools and NGOs and small businesses. Um, so we really hope that we can share our ideas and visions for the future and that we can get new ideas for how we can implement new projects. Our budget is small, but we're always looking for new ideas and ways to, ways to make a difference. Shortlisted in the Global High Schools Prize, Africa, Kiria Secondary School from Tanzania, and Waterford, Kamlaba from Swaziland. This is the Kiria Secondary School Lowland Scarp. It is a semi arid scarp characterized with hot, dust, and dry winds. We want to prevent our schools from environmental calamities. Our schools in our network are doing a lot to conserve the environment. We are doing, of course, the, uh, to sensitize the students and the entire community around the schools to plant trees in the area which is very much affected. And also we've been established a tree nursery where we produce tree seedlings which we supply to the uh, near villages where they plant in uh, very much affected areas. We are also doing a joint venture activity with the Maasai where we integrate the local knowledge with classroom knowledge to conserve the environments where we insist them and we teach them how to use solar energy instead of cutting trees in their area. So we want our students to integrate knowledge that they learn from their classrooms, then they use that knowledge outside their classrooms. The proposal is about renewable energy that will replace the use of biomass and diesel with windmill, solar power and biogas. Here is where we are going to put the windmill if we want the prize. We are small schools with big dreams. I think that Waterford is Africa's best kept secret. Our project involved changing the school roofing to glass. So this is a view of our classroom block. And this is where we're going to put the glass roofing in order to prevent the use of electric light. Many of us live in this hostel and we would like to implement motion sensors in the corridors so that we have lights only when we need it. This is our IT centre and this is where we would install our photovoltaic cells. Waterford Club started in 1963 as an alternative to and in protest against apartheid education in South Africa. Today the environment has to be of deep moral concern and practical concern to every responsible individual. All the water we use on campus comes down from the nature reserve into this reservoir. Waterford is a good environment because at Waterford you see the way it reduce, reuse, recycle. My passion for the environment is continue to grow and it's something that I'm proud of um, about Waterford. When teachers discovered the Zayed Future Energy Prize, this became a hugely motivating factor amongst them to see how this could mobilize the school in thinking how we might think of a more sustainable future for our school. The Zayed Future Energy Prize has already been a stimulus to us uh, in this regard. Shortlisted in the Global High Schools Prize, Asia. Fuji Migaoka Educational Institution from Japan. Galkeri Sangeet Vidyalaya from India. And the Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Bangladesh Islamia School from the United Arab Emirates.
we have founded on 1940, just 73 years old now, and our educational aim is to foster sophisticated young Japanese ladies with prominent sense of international understanding. There is a movement for reconsidering energy program in Japan. The suggestion is to develop our existing environment education through the three projects, compost activities, global environment meetings. Since we apply this honorable award, the student interest in UAE and the late Sheikh Zaid have definitely increased. Recently, the friendship between our institute and Emirati people has been deepened. For example, 31 students visited UAE University, 7 UAE University students have visited Fujimi Gaoka in Tokyo. We collect organic yeast and we make compost. Through the project, I believe my students will spontaneously consider the environment problem, cooperate with local people, and then eventually raise themselves up extraordinarily. Uh, Karkiri Sangeet Yalaya was founded in 2002 and serves the underprivileged children and he provides education and music as well as health care and food and accommodation all completely free of cost. Our students are just not able to use computers as much as we would like them because electricity is an issue and it even affects the health and hygiene because our water pump works on electricity. Sometimes we are not able to pump water for the shower or to then filter the water uh, to make it drinkable. We would like to install solar panels that will then power all electric devices that we have. We would give uh, scholarships, we call it light scholarships, so it means we would install solar lights in their houses, in their own villages then, so people in their village will also get to know about renewable energies. This prize is just a very big motivation for schools who maybe otherwise wouldn't be able to afford these big changes. I'm happy to see that uh, uh, Sheikh Zayed's interest in uh, sustainability and renewable energy, the environment, his love for sharing, his, his compassion. These are the values that, that we have here as well. I hope that we will win the Zayed Future Energy Prize. Our proposal was to introduce solar panels on the rooftop so that we could get most of the energy for the lights and the fans and the computers of our school. In the second phase, we plan to introduce some more passive cooling through which the workload of the AC can be reduced and we can introduce solar panels, the solar energy for that also. We will use the solar energy to cool and power our school. We have replaced electric bulbs uh, to energy efficient saving bulbs. We have introduced uh, cooling passive system uh, by creating shades. We have Eco Club and Eco Garden. We reuse the ablation water for watering the plants. The Global High Schools Prize has given a chance for the young generation to be involved in such an interesting and very important project. Sheikh Zayed has always been a champion for environmental causes. His famous saying was our forefathers lived and survived within, on land and in sea because they took from nature only what they needed and they left it for the succeeding generations. So this is the principle of sustainability. The first step we have done is to make them aware of what these words mean, not just to reduce the carbon footprint but to put more ecological handprints. We are empowering the students. They have now come to understand that each student has the power to contribute and to make a difference in some small way and some small initiative.